This is Mike Bot. Today I'm doing an unboxing and setup of the Eufy Security Homebase S380 or the Homebase 3. This is Eufy's Edge Security Center. With this device, you can basically integrate all your Eufy devices onto this home base, which will give you added storage capabilities, as well as um, AI intelligence to all your devices. The benefit of having a home base 3 is basically uh, encrypted data, which is secure and safe onto the device. And in case something gets stolen, like a doorbell or a camera, this Eufy device will store everything right on there and make it very difficult for a thief or a, a breach, basically, from your devices. The nice thing about this device is not only the advanced encryption that it has built into it, but there's no monthly fee. It gives you the capabilities to use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Ethernet's obviously going to give you the fastest, most stable connection onto the device. And it comes built in with a mere 16 gigabytes of storage, which is nothing. So you want to expand your storage using a SATA hard drive or an SSD. You can expand up to 16 terabytes, which is plenty of storage. Uh, the odds of you going through all 16 terabytes are slim to none, especially with it overwriting everything, depending on the amount of time you set it to overwrite. Going with an SSD gives you a speed capability, but this is mainly for archive and storage. So you don't really need the speed. It's just better to have SSD in my opinion, because if the device falls, it's not going to damage the storage unit inside. So I was mentioning the encryption. So with the encryption, it's going to allow you to protect your privacy and keep it away from hackers and breaches. It uses the AES-128 and the RSA-1024 encryption measures, which is state-of-the-art, basically, uh, encryption. It also has motion-triggered alarms. It has a 100 decibel alarm siren built in. And if you have the Eufy doorbell, it also acts as um, a secondary chime to your doorbell. I use my uh, smart speakers as a chime, but now I have the home base as a secondary chime as well. So I can hear the doorbell ring anywhere in the house, basically. So if you decide to expand your storage, you'll also be able to record 4K resolution, which takes up quite a bit of space. So that's the other nice thing about the 16 terabytes. It also has this thing called a bionic mind recognition. So if you have the doorbell or any camera, basically, it'll be able to recognize faces and then you can give them names and set them in separate folders. And then it'll let you know when this specific guest or person is caught on camera. So as I mentioned, you can integrate your cameras, your doorbells. If you get the motion lights, you can also add triggers with that. You can expand basically with all of Eufy's devices. This is the latest and greatest uh, home base they have right now and it's compatible with majority of their security devices new and old and future it also gives you the ability to filter false alarms by uh, basically setting up the recognition software you'll be able to get notifications for exactly what you want now it's hard to explain that so it's one of those things where you kind of get to play around with it to understand what i'm saying but essentially Let's say a family member comes to your house frequently. You can add their face onto the uh, home base and then it'll stop giving you uh, alarms or notifications that this person's at the door because it's now a recognized person in the system. You can also get daily security briefings by customizing your security report onto the home base. You'll also be able to categorize your events any way you like. And as I mentioned earlier, you also have the motion triggered alarms with that very loud 100 decibel alarm siren. So in a nutshell, you get 24-7 recording saved onto this device, which can be up to 4K, and added security benefits and AI. So those are the reasons you want to get this home base. If you're getting the home base to add security to your house, it's not going to add any security, but it's going to secure everything even more. So it's securing your already secure devices. All this can be set up using the Eufy app. I don't think they have a Windows or Mac 
software for it yet, but I'm sure they're probably working on it to some degree, hopefully. The Wi-Fi on this device is not the best. It's only 802.11b, so it's not the latest and greatest. So that's why I mentioned earlier you want to hardwire it. And that's basically it for the features and functions of this S380 home base. Now setting this up is very easy. You just plug it in and then connect your network to it using the Eufy Security app. If you want to do, uh, if you want to add some storage, you just take off the top cover, unscrew the hard drive latch, put the hard drive in, screw the hard drive in, pop it in, and then screw, secure the latch. That's it. In the software, you'll be able to format your hard drive, and then you'll be able to configure everything through the app. Now, I'm going to go through the settings really, really quickly in this video. Uh, there isn't much for me that I can show without compromising my own systems internally at my home. Once you get the Eufy Security app set up, logged in, uh, start with a firmware update. Once the firmware update is, on, is done, add all your devices and then start setting up your notifications. And that's basically it. I don't really have much more to add to this other than it does have USB ports. So you can add external hard drives to it as well if you don't want to buy an internal hard drive. Now, USB is obviously going to be a little bit slower than SATA, but you're using this for archiving and data storage. So speed is nice, but not a necessity. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I have been using this uh, S380 base for about a month now, so I have a very, very strong understanding of how it works and functions. If you have any questions about setting up the cloud storage, push notifications, thumbnails, leave it in the comments and I'll answer it. But if you want your one-on-one -on -one session with me or you want to have a customized experience, go to my Patreon, subscribe to the cheapest plan, get in touch with me and we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one session and I'll walk you through how to do it all. My Patreon is basically uh, a way to kind of help support me. So uh, in return, what I do is I give you your own customized service. Uh, we can even become friends. I, I upload videos onto Patreon before YouTube. You get a lot of really neat stuff. So check it out. The link is in the description below. That's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you like it if you liked the video, and if you didn't, let me know why. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, it's greatly appreciated. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to send me a free coffee, a $2 tip on YouTube. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. I do these videos for free, I'm not sponsored. Everything is out of pocket. Editing these videos is time out of my schedule, and I do it just because I enjoy doing it and I also like building this YouTube community with everyone. Thank you all again for watching. Mike Bot out. Thank you for watching Mike Bot Entertainment.